Hi everyone, this is Zach from Moto Tracks. Today we're going to be showing you how to assemble your ski out of the box. Then we're going to be showing you how to actually put it on your bike and get it ready to go. Alright, so to assemble your ski, first you'll have the ski block separate from the ski. And what you need to do is install it. Might take a little bit of force, but it goes right in. Uh, down on the bottom here, uh, before you put it in, you'll see a small silver F. That's the side that goes towards the front or the ski loop. Uh, next, you'll see that you have these water jet panels here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take these, install them with the circle towards the back. All right, so once you get those tightened down, you're gonna to wanna to grab this bar right here, take it, thread it through, then you're gonna to gonna to wanna to take these two set screws that it comes with right here. You should have two. Go ahead, thread them through the back, and just get them threaded in, but not too tight, because you'll have to adjust this bar when you actually put it on the bike. All right, so now that we got that assembled, the other parts that you'll have, you'll see this center spacer here. It's got threads on the inside. This goes in the middle, and then these will change from bike to bike. These are specific for the Yamaha behind me, and they will go in on the outside, but we'll show you how to do that when we get to putting it on the bike. All right, so now I'm actually gonna be showing you how to put it onto the bike. So what I have is I have all these bolts loosened up here. Just gonna wanna take out your axle, it out, take off your front wheel, of course. Go ahead and just set that off to the side. All right, so what I like to do next is I like to take the small spacer with the stuff on it. Go ahead, put that into your, your fork there. Take your skin, go ahead, grab that. Take it, turn it, get it lined up. Perfect. What you can do now, grab this center spacer, go ahead, get it kind of pushed through. Start to get that threaded on and it'll keep it from falling out on you. Go ahead, grab this other side now. You're gonna wanna take the longer one, push it through. Get everything all nice and lined up. All right, so once you get that pushed in, grab your other bolt with a smaller washer. Go ahead, thread that through. So you can go ahead, get these tightened down. getting pretty snug on up a little bit because what you're going to have to do next is this bar the reason why it has the flat on it it's going to sit underneath your fork tubes there so what you want to do is the reason we didn't snug these up going to take it push it back as hard as you can get that lined up see how it sits flat on there you're going to want to go into the back now get these tightened down You can see right in there. Perfect. Right. So now with you still pushing back, go ahead, get these nice and snug. Now you can go ahead, tighten down these pinch bolts. Just make sure, you know, that your forks aren't in a bind, kind of look at them 
check them out, make sure that you don't have too big of a gap on either side. This side should pull it through, get that side lined up. Just wiggle this side, make sure it's freed up. Go ahead and tighten these down now. Make sure you tighten these down to your factory torque settings. There you go. That's all it takes. So even though we left the caliper on here for the video, we always recommend, as a word of caution, to take it off just in case you hit anything. Uh, it will not get damaged. And of course, if you want to run the long line, you're going to need to unhook the line anyway so you can run it up to your handbrake. So now that you have successfully installed your ski system, it puts you even that much closer to going up, finding the snow, and tearing up the mountain. Don't forget to go check out our website at www.moto-tracks.com. That's M-O-T-O dash T-R-A-X dot com.